Salutations! Throughout history, societies depended on male leadership for success and righteousness and bolstered them through either religion or secular philosophy. The prevalence of past evils such as murder, slavery, and torture are wildly exaggerated. If women were in charge, these evils could have been far more prevalent, and societies could have failed to have been created and or maintained. Quoting Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC, the male, unless constituted in some respect contrary to nature, is by nature more expert at leading than the female and the elder and more complete. Confucianism taught that a virtuous woman was one that submitted herself to the authority of the men in her life. If single, her authority figure would be her father. If he was deceased, her authority figure would be her brother. An 88th century Chinese text called the Analects for Women instructed women on all manner of walking, talking, and conduct. And Hinduism and Buddhism were traditionally male-dominated. Don't believe what some internet sites say about those religions. S such sites distort their history or take quotes out of context. And how the great Vikings conducted themselves should go without saying. In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, Act 2, Scene 2, Juliet declares, If thy love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow, where and when thou wilt perform the right, and all my fortunes at thy feet I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. The great United States was founded on the patriarchy. In fact, only men were property owners here. I live in the U.S., only the man's name was listed as the resident. The wife and children were listed as numbers of other residents. Women were honored in a different way. That is, men were required to do everything to support their wives, dying for them if necessary. Throughout Jewish history, men were dominant and gender roles were fixed. In fact, in 2017, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu scuttled plans for a mixed-gender prayer space at Jerusalem's holiest site, the Western Wailing Wall. Mr. Netanyahu upheld Jewish tradition. Actually, only Orthodox, Orthodox Judaism represents to true Jewishness. The other groups, such as Reform, Reconstructionist, Humanistic, or so-called Conservative Judaism, offer a compromised or sissified form. Quoting Christian scripture, 1 Corinthians 11, 3. I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. Also, 1 Corinthians 14, 34 to 35. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything... Let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Ephesians 5, to 24 Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. 1 Timothy 2, 11 and 12. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. 1 Peter 3, 1 and 5 to 6. Likewise, ye, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. The holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection to their own husbands even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are. This contrasts dramatically with Satanism, which not only promotes gender equality, is often women-led. There is high priestess Maxine Dietrich, founder of joyofsatan.com, priestess Satanica of, of satansgarden.net, Alexandria Schnack, of satansheaven.com, Venus Satanus of spiritualsatanist.com, 
Diane Vera of TheisticSatanism.com and demonist authoress, self-described demonist authoress, S. Connolly. We also have feminist Jex Blackmore of the Satanic Temple. Though basically atheists, they are legally recognized as a church and churches. A common symbol of Satanism, the part human, part God Baphomet, is a confusing mixture of male and female. Leading feminists Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Susan B. Anthony, Betty Frieden, Gloria Steinem, Bella Abzug, it, and such women were all anti-religious. Atheist Madeline Murray, Murray O'Hare was the one who got prayer banned in schools, while a woman and her team of women lawyers were the ones who made abortion legal in the United States. In fact, around 100% of atheists accept interchangeable gender roles and are therefore feminists by definition. Yet instead of standing solid on consistent traditional Christian understanding, most churches compromise with Satanists and atheists by allowing their position to be compromised. Quite a few give up their position completely, their men allowing themselves to be emasculated. Besides ignoring scripture or twisting it to give it a different meaning, some have had the audacity to rewrite the Bible, putting out Bibles with gender-neutral language, such as the New Revised Standard, the New Living Translation, today's New International Version, and the New Testament and Psalms and Inclusive Version. Many other Bibles are somewhat compromised, so, so stick with old reliable Bibles such as the authorized King James KJV. In fact, the claim that men only dominated because they were more physically powerful collapses in the face of theology. If there is a God or gods, then he, she, or they designed men to be more powerful. Even if you are masculine or macho in other aspects of your life, yet you compromise on gender roles or male-led authority, you have the disease of phagosis. So cure yourself ASAP.